Hi Tribe. This is video number two of the um, soul videos that I'm making about um, my cat. <laughs> so um, those of you who have seen that first video where I had the soul session and my cat came out and interrupted soul and was just pretty much there. Um, yeah, that was pretty crazy, right? So part of me after that, you know, in the back of my mind, I was thinking maybe I was just making that up in my mind because I was grieving so hard. Maybe that was just me making that stuff up. Maybe, you know, and even though, and I started to think I was going crazy because I would hear like little tapping sounds at night, even though my cat is sitting here on the bed, my other cat sitting here on the bed, sound asleep, um, weird stuff be happening. And I just thought it was my mind going crazy because I was just grieving so hard. So, um, for the next week or so, I would have sessions with people and, um, they would, I would, we'd be on Zoom and they would, um, uh, say that they would see orbs behind me floating around and I'm just like, oh, it, it's just dust. <laughs> it's dust. Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and, um, I will show you a few of those videos right here and uh, website formation, all that. So, yes. you know, you're pretty much, you, <laughs> like you're, <a> genie. <laughs> you're set the fuck up by the time uh, you're done. Um, cause, uh, and saw something behind you. Did you see that? What? Well, it's gone now. I swear I saw like an orb or something just fly off in the corner. And oh, it's probably dust. You that a lot? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I what did you say it was? Probably dust. Oh, uh, I don't know. Like I don't... Little, it kind of flew that way. And well, might, my uh, my cat passed away in July, and um, he is here with me all the time. And uh, I'm just letting, letting you know. Uh, I'm actually Jimmy taking said, Jimmy. He like came around the corner and popped out. I, I think I just saw him. Did you see that? No. <laughs> Uh, no, I, it was like, it was like a little, uh, uh, yeah, it was like a little orb. I'm going to rewind this one. And see well, no one's caught up with me yet, so <laughs> I don't have to go. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, it took me like uh, almost put put everything into that thing. Like, it took me, do you see that freaking, did you see that? Yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, I know I'm not yes. tripping, and that is not a bug. <laughs> no, <laughs> now, now I can see, but it was like, I don't know, like, this way, that, in front yeah. of you dust does not do that and that is not a bug i'm telling and that you was a little bit too shiny to be a dust <laughs> yeah uh because there's no bugs in here and well my cat's ashes are right there <laughs> that too so, but he's always with me so i had another 10 years with them and did you say shit i just saw <laughs> yes I see that all the time now. Yeah, so okay. So yeah, one of the girls was like, I don't know, I've never known dust to like actually go in a certain um, way. I just thought dust kind of just falls. I didn't know that dust has like a, an intelligent line of travel that it goes. So that those things were happening, okay? People were noticing stuff and it wasn't just me, okay? And then around that same time, um, a little bit after those encounters, like maybe within a couple days, um, I was doing a, um, some practice sessions, soul sessions with one of the, uh, members of the soul, um, course, right? Um, so we got together one night and on zoom and I, she had been doing it more than me. So I was the client first and, um, because I wanted to hear her spiel, whatever. And so before I uh, started my session, I had made a silent request um, to not have my cat come out in the session because I wanted to work on soul stuff, okay? So made that, I had my session, it was great, you know, did soul work, whatever, okay, right. So we flip and this time I'm the therapist, she's the client and this woman doesn't have a Facebook. She's not on social media. Um, I haven't ever really talked about my cat to this woman at all. Um, during the session, she starts um, feeling feline e energy 
and um she says that she saw a sphinx cat and she's describing my cat to a t now people when they saw my cat they would say oh is he one of those sphinx cats because he did have the big ears and stuff and he really did kind of look like one um yeah so i will show you a clip of that right now i'm going to disguise her voice you can't see her face because she's very private and doesn't want any of um her stuff being shown but i want just want you to see my reaction because i'm just like what the hell because it's crazy and i'm just like what that video right there made it real someone else saw it saw my cat described it to a t and even after the session, I showed her videos and pictures of my cat. And she's like, yeah, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that's him. I'll show you that clip too. So here we go. But yeah, they say that people are allergic to the dander. And then uh, hairless cats, they don't have dander. They don't got hair. Okay, so yeah, I guess there's a hairless kitty here. Yeah, Isn't strange. You're you're feeling a hairless kitty or seeing it? More feeling. Okay, tell me tell me what you're experiencing. Well, maybe just yeah, maybe a little bit of seeing because I can almost. Oh, I don't know if it's seen. I can sense its color. It's like pale, pale skin, but it's got some dark. Dark bits. Where are the dark, dark bits? Paws, ears, part of the face. Okay. Uh, where? Where? Um. Can you? Can you? Oh, it's just there. It's just like wanting to be acknowledged. Like I, I'm just looking at it from afar. Like close, but not that close. Yeah. And it's just hind feet down and front legs propped up so it's butt is sitting down but it's you know it's, it's kind of halfway up and it looks like one of those hairless cats yeah shit okay almost like Siamese as well huh. like I, I can't tell then if it's hairless or Siamese hmm Um, call well, it's to just there, it's not doing much, just you know, you know. Will you uh call it and as uh call to it and see if it answers to Jimmy? <laughs> I swear, because my cat looked Jimmy, he looked like a hairless cat, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he did have pale skin and dark spots. <laughs> I'm kind of tripping out on this. <laughs> Not, it's it's not like it's looking at me. I have a, a side view of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I guess it would be looking at you in that direction. It would be looking this way. Um, it kind of looks and it just turns its head, not its body, just kind of acknowledging me, watching it, and it just kind of goes back and ignores me, but knows that I'm there. Yeah, because he had really big ears, like so. Yeah. They always, yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, you want to go closer to it? Do you want to investigate it and see what's happening with it, or what? What do you want to do? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. If it's anybody like Jimmy, he. It's an awesome cat, and he's very loving, <laughs> and he loves people. Well, yeah, most cats love people, but yeah. That feline energy is very loving, very, um, it's like a, I don't know.
Oh, I tried to purr at it or fake purr. Uh -huh. Like a Maya. Yeah. <laughs> and it just kind of like turned its head the other way. Oh, like, really? Oh, okay. You don't want me to come in? Really? Here? Wow. Shit. Jimmy used to do that shit. He's mad. Jimmy's mad at me. What? He's not talking to me. What'd you do? I don't know. I'm recording him though. He is not talking to me. Right now, did you just record him? Nope. Jimmy! Why aren't you talking to me? Why won't you talk to me, Jimmy? He'd be like, okay, I'm not paying attention to you. Uh, but it's there it's not like it went away it's just like I can't be bothered right now really like it's focused elsewhere like it's attention is focused somewhere else but it knows that I'm there so I could be a distraction but it would rather focus somewhere else so interesting <laughs> wow okay um what what do you uh okay <laughs> I'm a lost for words right now. This is so crazy. Okay. Do you want to um call on any of your team and ask them for help or it's um, just kind of like now flopping its tail, just kind of yeah. so I don't know if it's waiting on something. Um why do, why do cats do their tail like that? They talk with their tail. Cats talk with their tail. That's how they, you can tell like what mood they're in. Like if it's like fast, they're kind of like irritated, irritated. Mm -hmm. uh, if they're yes. like happy, they're like wagging it. They talk with their tail. You can tell like, you know, just like kind of dogs do. Uh, you can tell what kind of mood they're in with their tail. They're like playful. It's just kind of like a nonchalant, you know, like uh, just what kind of energy does that wag give? Yeah, I think it's kind of like what you said, just this nonchalance of yeah. here, just, just like I see you, but don't mess with me right now. I'm busy focusing on something else. Okay. Okay, yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of what that kind of, yeah, nonchalant, be kind of like focusing on like, you know, something in the distance, like a mouse or who knows, mm -hmm. something something has their attention it is really easy to uh, distract a cat's attention They're like shiny thing oh my god <laughs> yeah i do you um let's see let me think what uh hmm I'm trying to think what what would he go crazy over Was it last week for the full moon? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was. And uh, you know what? Um, Saturday, the veil is like going to be very thin because it's Halloween. That's right. I just realized that the veil is really thin. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I call him Jimmy oh. Choo Choo. He was abused. He was a, he was a, um, a, a hoarder house where they hoarded cats and he's mm -hmm. so small he was relentlessly picked on by other cats but yeah i kind of did look like that really light pale skin and only black in certain bits is that black tail yeah but, yeah like i feel like yeah it was like black bits in, in, that, yeah. in the ears and in the face around how funny it, yeah you were describing it probably, yeah it's probably your baby so the reason why this is so important is because it made it real. <laughs> it meant that I wasn't just making this shit up in my head. Like someone else saw my cat in their session in their subconscious. I didn't even know that was possible, but it is. So, um, yeah. So <laughs> he still comes out, um, at, you know, in sessions, people are seeing him behind me. I have a session um, later on with my grandmother and 
uh, my grandmother, she actually knew him in person. She actually, you know, knew him and she came out, he came out in her session and I'm going to show you that clip here of him coming in her session. I want to go you back. You are just not going to believe this. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? Well, it's a visitor. Who is it? I think you know him. Who is it? Yes, I do. I love you, too. Oh, now go, go back. You're supposed to go to your mama. Go. Is it Jimmy? Jimmy? Yes. Why is he in my dream? What's he doing? Well, he just gave me sugar. Yeah. <laughs> just like he always did. Oh, my goodness. You're not supposed to be here. You go in. He likes doing that. I'm telling you. Okay. Well, he can sit there. He can sit with you. Just hold him. No, he's down here. He's, he's down here now. He's moving his tail around. He's like, hey, I remember her. Yes, he does. He used to give me sugar. He's like, I'm going to go over in her into her uh, subconscious. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. He's, uh, I think he likes it better, Dad, because uh, he can go with me everywhere now. He visits. <laughs> yes, I see you. Oh, my goodness. Oh. No, don't. <laughs> Not cool. Okay. Uh, okay, so what the hell? Okay that's crazy so yes m my nana whenever she's in hypnosis she thinks it's a dream so that's why she said i don't know why he's in my dream um yeah that's what she thinks it, it is whenever she's in hypnosis totally cool so this has happened and so i am getting really emotional at this time because i'm i'm seeing my cat in this dark void and he's alone and I can't see him and I can't comfort him and he's just wanting me to, to see me wanting to, to get my attention and I'm just thinking he's so lonely and I did this to him and I'm just like I'm crying I'm emotional and I'm is right around Halloween time and I'm thinking okay this is how he's doing it the veil they say is that it's thinnest right then so okay um so I make this plan on Halloween night to uh they say that's when the veil is at its thinnest right okay so i was like okay i'm going to contact my cat i'm going to comfort him to console him i don't know what i'm going to do but i just i it was i was like i'm coming baby i'm coming because uh, i i'm going through dark night of the soul and i'm really mad at my soul and whoever for doing this to my cat because I was like, he's not supposed to die. He wasn't supposed to die. Whatever reason it, it was for whatever lesson I was supposed to learn, it had to have been a really big win for you to do this to me, for, for you to take away my cat like this. Like, seriously. And, but I'm really, I'm just, I don't know. I was just going through a dark night of the soul, okay? And over a cat, I know. But this cat wasn't just a cat. So Halloween night, I get all my crystals, all my high energy ones. I'm like, I lined them all up. I was like, they're just going to have a lot of energy. He's going to use that energy to like, you know, draw on. And that's how he's going to come out. I don't, I don't know. That's what he's going to use to show himself. I don't know. So I decided to make myself my, a, my own hypnosis recording. So I could put my own self into hypnosis and I could go into that state and I could... Um, yeah, pretty much see him like that. So I did it myself. So I, I recorded my recording and in the recording, um, 
it says whenever I get to the part of, okay, you're in this place where you need to be. Um, now, this is where Jimmy's at. Call out to Jimmy. He's going to come running. Whatever. Call out to Jimmy. So I get to that part, right, when I'm doing this, and I'm getting this block. This block, it's like, I don't know, it was like this, it was like this, like, block that was blocking me from seeing anything. I couldn't see anything. I was just like, uh, I didn't know. I was starting to get frantic. I'm like, what the fuck? Where's my cat at? Uh, you know, what's going on? Is this, was it how it was before? And so, later on in the recording, I say, okay, now have soul come down. Have soul come down and, um give you any words of loving, loving wisdom, whatever. And, um, so I say, I'm going to now be quiet for the next few minutes so you can commute, commune with soul. Okay. So that gets to that part. Uh, I get quiet in the recording and at that time soul comes out and soul had Jimmy in his arms. He had Jimmy in his arms and, uh, yeah, he, he walked up to me and he handed him to me. He's like, here. So I said, here you go. Here's your baby. We got him. He's fine. Like, he's not alone. He's with us. You don't have to worry about him anymore, okay? Like, we're tripping. <laughs> he's just fine. <laughs> and, um, and then Soul took away my grief. Like, he, he, he just... I uh, took all of it from me. <laughs> I didn't have it anymore. And uh, I was like, okay, um, cool. <laughs> so, um, and then, yeah, Soul was like, you know, you can access us just like this you're doing right now, anytime. You don't have to have someone else to help you. And so, uh, yeah, I I've been meditating every um, morning when I wake up for 15 minutes and talking to soul. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if my cat having to die was a catalyst for me to get closer in contact with my soul. Maybe that was it. Maybe making this video was part of it. I don't know. But this is what, this is my story. This is what I've went through. Um, my cat still comes out every night. <laughs> he comes and visits me, and um, I will hear a tapping sound. And I will look over, and my other cat is sound asleep on the bed, and I know it's Jimmy. And people could think I'm crazy. I don't care. But I know that's my freaking cat, and my leg will start vibrating, and I know that's him, like, coming to chill. <laughs> And before when that would happen, I would get cry. I would cry. I'd break down crying and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm just like, I'm like, hey, Jimmy. Hey, how are you doing? I love you. You know, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Like, I just sit there and talk to my cat, my dead cat. But, um, you know, I think that this is something that I needed to share to anybody that might be going through the loss of a loved one. So they can know that yeah, they are not in some dark void. They are loved and they have a whole bunch of people wherever they're at, you know, with them. And we don't have to worry about them anymore. And so I think that, you know, if anybody needs help with the grieving process, I'm totally down to help you out, help you um, get through that. So yeah, I got some flack about making my last video saying that's supposed to be a private thing or whatever. I don't think so. I think that if you don't make videos like this, then how is anybody else going to know about it? How are people going to know? So I'm, I'm making these videos to get the word out that it's totally possible to talk to your soul. Right here, I can help you. And, um... I can give you the tools to be able to talk to your soul anytime without needing anybody. So if you'd be interested in that, um, hit me up. We can do one of those sessions also. Um, whatever you need. 
if um you know i just went through some crazy shit so believe me i am open-minded and you can't freak me out with anything i promise you okay so yeah um feel free to make comments in in the in the comment section about what you think about my experience or if you want to share your own experiences whatever you want um if you want to dm me and talk about soul stuff grief stuff whatever i'm here here for you um yeah i'm just getting over a dark night of the soul so i'm kind of like going back into finding my joy again and i promise the next couple of videos i will be a little bit more lively but it's been a wild ride so i will talk to you all soon love you all